Top 5 Reasons You Should Not Get The Creality CR 10S Pro That's right, I said not. What is up you guys? My name is Anton, I do content all things 3D and if you're interested in more 3D content be sure to hit the sub button down below and have the bell icon turned on for notifications and if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up without further ado let's get into it why you should not get the cr 10s pro now i've made videos and reviews of loving it what i enjoy about this printer saying you should get it but i actually want to go over the stuff of why you should not get this model this model may be good and i may enjoy it but it's not for everyone here are the top five reasons number five Resin printing will better apply for your needs. If you have not looked into what resin printing is, it's a very different kind of way to 3D print, but it may better address what you want to do. So ask yourself the question before you look at all the printers in the market, what do you seek to accomplish? Is this printer the best at accomplishing that? Or is there another one, maybe even in a better budget, that can accomplish those things? This model does very well for big tall prints for cosplay props, for tall models. However, there are certain things that it may not do as well as a resin printer can do. So check those all out. Make sure you ask yourself that question and see which printer best addresses that and which method of printing will best address that. Do your research. Number four, this is not the best model for you if you're planning on printing with ABS, TPU, flexible filaments and all of that. Now, this printer does have the ability to print with PLA, of course, PETG, ABS, flexible phones. It can do that, but it is not the best. It's really best used for PETG and PLA. Problem with the ABS, well, ABS can get toxic fumes, and you need to have a cover for the printer when you print that, or at least put it in a place where the fumes won't get to you and harm you. I'd rather have a whole cover around it. So you should look at different kind of printers if you're planning on using ABS because for this one you'd have to build something to cover it. Not saying that you can't do it, but you'd have to. Um, for flexible fil filaments, this one can do it, but there's a lot of difficulties that you would encompass with this because of the dual gear extruder. It's going to keep pushing stuff through the Bowden tube and what's going to happen is that filament is going to get stuck all over into it. It's possible, you can do it, but it's a little tricky and there's some printers that better do this if you're planning on flexible printing all the time. So I would definitely do your research before you jump in on this one. Number three, you should not get this one if your budget's under $500. It costs around $700 as of the date of this recording of the video. That's a little over $500, it's not cheap. It's not really expensive for what it offers, okay? You are getting, I believe, the best bang for the buck for this printer, depending if it addresses the needs that you're planning on addressing with it. But it's not cheap. The Ender 3 may solve all the things that you need, and it's almost at the third of the price. I gotta look down in the description, and last I checked, it was around $250 on Amazon. This guy goes over $700. Maybe, but this guy doesn't do everything that you wanna do, and you wanna go upgrade to a CR Max, which is $1,000. Um, it's a much bigger plate or the Ender 5. Go ahead, do your research, check on those things if the build plate is too big or too small for you because your budget and your cost of the printer is going to be affected mostly by those things, which leads me straight to point two. If you're not going to print anything large and big and you're just planning on printing small and detailed, there's no reason for this printer. I know it's fun, it's cool to have that ability, eh, that's not a problem, if you can afford it and that's the budget, why not? I totally highly recommend it. However, if you got prints that are going to be small and detailed, the Ender or plenty of other printers with a much smaller build plate than 300 millimeters all around, almost a foot uh, cube, it's it's insane, it's, it's a giant build plate, you don't need that if you're planning on making smaller models. In fact, resin printers may give you better detail than these can at a lower price for small models. So look at your research for that if you're looking to address small prints because this one, you're probably gonna wanna put a six millimeter nozzle or higher on it and print really large prints with it. You still don't lose the ability to print small with this, don't get me wrong, I've done some small detailed stuff and it turned out great. And I can fit a smaller nozzle even below 0.4 millimeters, but it's really, a power horse and 
get the best utilization out of my money when I print really big. I see going on behind me. Number one reason why you should not get this 3D printer. If you're not going to 3D print. It sounds kind of like a weird point, but you really got to ask yourself, is print 3D printing for you? You got to understand that 3D printing, it, it's, it's not just drag and drop files and there you go. What are you trying to accomplish with 3D printing? Are you trying to do prototypes and have a tangible product? Definitely need to do 3D printing. Are you trying to do some sort of models and sculpting? There may be other things out there for you. 3D printing is not for everyone and sometimes you get saturated into one thing that can focus and achieve that goal and 3D printers may not be it, but they are amazing, okay? I wanna be very, very clear. I love 3D printing. It is an amazing world. It's absolutely incredible the things you can make and create with this. But you gotta make sure you understand the all the things that this encompasses because there'll be unexpected costs such as fixing or upgrading stuff. Don't go crazy with upgrades, please. You got your filament, obviously the printer. And then, you know, in the post work process, you're gonna need a lot of stuff like that. So if you have only one project that you're seeking to accomplish or a couple, maybe 3D printing isn't the solution for all of it. Maybe you could look for something else. It's not the easiest thing to do, but there's a very awesome, helpful community, which you should, by the way, check the Discord down below and join if you are planning on 3D printing. We're a growing community. And the questions answers and just topics it's all fun in there so you definitely should check it out but 3d printing is not a drag and drop file thing i want to be clear on that if you've never tried 3d printing but if you have in your experience and you're trying to build a whole workhorse of machines just see if this printer addresses those needs don't go out and spend your money for no reason these are my top five reasons why you should not get this printer it won't best address your needs let me know your thoughts down below and i'll see you guys in the next video